everybody and thank you for joining me for another quick video. I'm just doing another writing update today um, in terms of my WIP to just share a few things that I've been doing over the past couple of weeks with you guys. The first thing that I did was I created an aesthetic or a mood board for my book, which I'm going to be popping up here. And also I did some aesthetics for my different characters as well as found some character inspiration models. So I'll go ahead and pop those up for you right now. I'm dying to know what you guys thought of those. Um, so I'd love to just chat about it with you in the comments or if you wanna, you know, direct message me on Instagram at Jenna Van Maurick, I'd be totally interested and down for that as well. Um, I just, I had so much fun making those. I don't, oh, it was so much fun for me. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I just, I love having, like I said before in my other videos, I love having visuals to go off of when I'm writing. I love, I'm a visual person. I like to have something to look at that to inspire me. And I am just, so in love with those aesthetics for my book. So yeah. The next thing that I did was I wrote the first chapter of my book, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is for me because I wrote it at a time where I was very busy, especially with moving and the apartment and getting all of that settled and organized and put together. And I wrote the first chapter of my book and I'm feeling really good about it. And I've already gone back through and edited it. So I feel even better about it. I, I'm really excited for this project, um, but I'm, I'm also very intimidated because it, it just feels like it's a lot of pressure for me to live up to it I put this pressure on myself I know and I've said it before like to me biblical fiction is the pinnacle genre for me it's it's beautiful it's moving it's deep it's it's historical it's research and it's 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 wonderful and powerful and inspiring to me and I feel like that's a big that's a lot to take on for me um, but I'm just trying to work on my confidence. So I would love for you guys to tell me, how do you build confidence in yourself as a writer? How do you not let fear take over? I could do a whole video on fear as a writer. And then uh, I've been filling in my outline a lot more. So that trifold board that I've shown you guys, I've been filling that in. I've been scribbling in more details, writing character profiles, doing, just adding some more like, thoughts and ideas to my notebooks and my outlines and my visuals. But I really am struggling with fear as a writer and you know, anxiety as a creator is what I'm creating good enough. And of course it's not, it's a first draft and I don't know why I'm putting all this pressure on myself, but I think I mostly just made this video. It's a very quick video, but I made it just to be like, hey, anybody have any tips or ideas on how I can get through this because I'm really struggling and it's hard for me to move forward this point in my WIP, in my draft drafting process because every time I sit at the computer and the words come out, I'm like, I don't know, are these words okay? Are they gonna be good enough? So that is where I'm at. I'm hoping that today is going to be a writing day for me. I'm hoping that I'm gonna go and get coffee and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna sit here with my salt lamp and a ginormous bag of barbecue chips and that I'm just gonna be able to write my heart out. But drafting is hard. The first draft is hard, especially since I've been sitting on this book idea for a while. And I think that's only built up my nerves even more. So I would love to know how you deal with writer confidence and anxiety as a writer. And then if I get some good tips, I might share them in an entirely new video dedicated to overcoming fear as a writer once I have reached that point in my writing career. I know this was a short video and I apologize, but I hope that you enjoyed it nonetheless. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, then subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. I'm Jenna Van Maurick, an inspired writer and an inspirational fiction reader who reads, writes, and lives for Jesus. You can catch up with me and follow me along daily on my Instagram. Instagram at Jenna Van Maurk to see what I'm reading and doing 
by the second because I'm on Instagram pretty much every second of the day, as well as going and checking out my blog where I document all the books that I read and review, as well as a little bit more about my writing process at www.jennavanmaurit.com. I would love it if you would subscribe to my mailing list over there. I don't spam you, I promise. I do a monthly newsletter and that's pretty much it. Again, thank you so much for just following me along on this journey. I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna go now because the coffee calls and hopefully after that, the creativity will call. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.